Welcome back, boys and girls. It has been a long break, but we're back. We're back, baby. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I know it has been a long break, so I decided to make this betweener video of my life in France. Uh, which kind of complements uh, 24 hours with Albert Tam. Uh, some projects that are in the making take longer time than expected, so enjoy this one. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking like the life outside of my daily routine, what you can see on, uh, on the video of 24 hours with Albert Tam. So kind of like, we got some good food, uh, disco for, of course, and also the culture, uh, like uh, some cities uh, that I have been uh, going sightseeing. Let's start with the food. Uh, the best thing I like here is uh, like, of course, the baguette, but raclette. It's a special type of cheese that melts when you heat it. And uh, here they kind of make it like this, that you, uh, you have warm potatoes, some uh, ham, like ser serrano or I don't know, pepperoni, whatever you like. You, uh, you smash the potato, put the meat on it, and then you take this raclette cheese, cheese you heat it up, then you pour it over, uh, the potato and the ham and you, then you eat it straight. It's like warm melted cheese and it's super good. It's quite easy to overeat, but usually uh, it's like a process, a process is not like, like, like quick small dinner. It's like uh, you take the raclette, you put it in the oven, you kind of wait until it heats up, heats up. You drink some good wine, talk uh, with your friends and a good combo for the night. But we are not the only Estonians living in the city of Nancy. Milka's uh, national team friend Anu also lives here with her boyfriend who plays uh, handball in the team of Nancy. And uh, we've been hanging out, hanging out uh, with them also a lot. And uh, we've been doing some pancake uh, Sundays, uh, also some Muna nights. And that's the video uh, you're gonna see in the background. So before uh, I knew that there was a disco park in Pompeii, uh, we kind of went out into the forest to play with uh, Vincent Philip, the friends I have made it here in France. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like, uh, this video clip shows you the life uh, before founding a disco of course. <coughs> And this is professional. <laughs> oh. 
As I mentioned also, like uh, seeing the culture here uh, has been quite awesome. Um, some weekends we have been able to take the step a bit further and go see some like cities like Strasbourg and Metz. And uh, also I brought my phone with me, with me to have some nice video clips about it. First the city of Strasbourg and then uh, followed up by Metz. couple of random clips. One day I went to the field work and uh, I saw some cows on the field. I was like, all right. Uh, I kind of kept my distance with them because you never know this wild animal and uh, with their power I, I will be like poof. But, uh, so later uh, we kind of like kept our distance good and later their owner came and uh, chased them back to the area they're supposed to be. But uh, the damage had already been done. They put some, they put some mines on the field. So there was some OB to avoid during the field work. And last but not least, uh, 
some tournaments here I planned got cancelled due to COVID. So the local course decided to make their own competition. And of course I was in there and uh, playing. But this, uh, the weather decided to uh, uh, play a little joker to us. And uh, you can see what happened. Out of a sudden, whole like snowstorm came. I didn't have any like spare clothes. I uh, had like a jacket on, which wasn't waterproof. So pretty much uh, with the first four holes, I was completely wet and it was still uh, like windy. So I was freezing. But uh, in my mind, I was like, okay, finished the round, then quit, go home, have a nice warm shower. It's not worth it. I finished like minus seven, I think. But, uh, and I quit after the first round. But uh, respect to the French guys, I heard that they played like three, four rounds after uh, the one I quit. So. so this was the lazy French vlog. I hope to finish the other project soon. Uh, I can tell you it's the East hunting. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll be back here soon. See you. They don't teach you this in the Tung class, do they?